The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Melanie Goodman designed an entrance and side garden for her mother's Messiah home. Well, this is what I designed. Oh, this, this is beautiful, colorful. Thank you, thank you. You chose this because of the colors? I, I really looked at the color, but more than anything, I wanted to uh, make sure the plants would grow and mm -hmm. would thrive. Uh, this is a south-facing wall, and it's really, really hot. Um, for years, we were never really able to grow anything um, consistently that would you know, live throughout mm -hmm. the, the seasons, except for that oleander, which was planted years ago. It likes the hot, and the blanket flowers are doing well. Mm -hmm. The black-eyed Susans do well, the cherry sage. They're looking really good. Thank you. Let's go see the garden around the side. Well, this is beautiful and has a lot of the same plants and some different ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, what I wanted to do here was really um, fill it up. Mm -hmm. uh, before we had plants that you see are, were already established a little bit, little bit bigger, mm -hmm. like the pampas grass and that big sage over there and the mm -hmm. pampas grass over here. And I wanted to fill it up. I, I like the full types of wilder gardens. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is what you see. I started out with some small plants, but they seem to like the constant water mm -hmm. because we, we put in a drip system and that uh, allows them to really spread. And so a lot of the, a lot of the plants have reseeded themselves. And you've got an amended soil here, which helps as well. Yes, uh, we, we did, uh, we have clay soil here, caliche mm. here in Mesilla. So we put a raised bed um, and filled it with some top soil and dug it around and, and that, that obviously helped. And this is the east side, so it's protected and things should grow better here. And I see you've got the drip irrigation system here, and the purpose of that is more than just to be able to irrigate regularly. Yes, absolutely. The idea was to have, obviously, the continual watering, so that helps the plants, but um, <clears throat> it was more of to fit our lifestyle. And mm -hmm. I was watching my mom every day uh, water these plants, and we thought, let's just do away with that and put, do it right the first time. And what are the plants in here that you like the most? Well, I love the Artemisia. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I think it's called Poet's Castle. Okay. Yeah. And I like that because it's uh, the silver color, and mm -hmm. um, I think it just provides a nice focal point in contrast to the other colors. Looks good with the reds of the cherry sage. Mm hmm. And right, and right now it's not in flower, but that Spanish broom mm -hmm. really is uh, vibrant. Yes. And uh, that was a good choice, and it likes it because it's grown, it's grown nicely. I guess I just like uh, the different colors, you know. I. Um, like the, the height of mm -hmm. the plants, and I had that in mind. And okay. how high is this plant going to grow? So you considered everything when you purchased the plants? That's right. Well, they're doing very well here, and thank you for the tour of the garden you designed for your mother's house. Oh, thank you. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.